Hey you guys, so I just woke up, it is 10 in the morning and I just don't have anything to do for the next couple days so I just found a flight to Scotland and I think I'm gonna go. So this is the start to my spontaneous Scotland trip. I asked my flatmates if they wanted to come with me but no one wants to go so I'm just gonna go alone because you just can't wait up for people in this life and I want to see Scotland. I'm going to Edinburgh or Edinburgh, I don't really know. So my flight departs at 3 o'clock and I arrive in Edinburgh at 4 so it's like an hour from London and I'm just excited and I don't really know what I'm gonna do there. My flight back to London is tomorrow at 6 o'clock at night so I have like a full day tomorrow and like the night time there tonight. I don't really know so this is just so random. I don't know why I do things like this. I don't know anyone that does stuff like this. So I'm gonna pack and I will see you in Scotland. can't believe I'm actually going here. I'm literally going to Scotland out of boredom. So I'll see you there. So I just made my first steps in Scotland. Look at this sign behind me. So is it Edinburgh or Edinburgh? Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Yeah. So there's a borough, it's not Berg. Yeah, people from, I don't know, from different countries like Spain or like Italy, people in France, people say Edinburgh, but no, it's not like Oh, okay, okay, good to know. Edinburgh or Edinburgh. The next day. Good morning from Scotland. So I have an extreme case of tired eyes right now. I went to bed so late because I got lost and my phone died and I could not find my Airbnb for the life of me and I probably circled around Edinburgh, Edinburgh five different times so I kind of know the city like the back of my hand now. It was actually like a huge issue but I made it back, I'm fine and it's funny because I got lost last night and someone as I'm so lost out of my mind asked me for directions. The couple behind me just asked me for directions. I guess I just look Scottish but this is my literal first hour in this country. Look, I don't even know where I am right now. There now. There's the castle. Edinburgh Castle. It's like really fogged up. Look how cool that is. Like what? So it is freezing outside. I'm now going to cut to future Kevin who is going to narrate the rest of the day for me. I think that'll just make more sense because it will flow better and I won't have to worry about talking to the camera and making sure I capture everything and I just think that's the best bet. So Future Kevin, take it away. Future Kev here, about to narrate the rest of this video for you. I hope you are enjoying it thus far, and I can't wait to just reminisce. I miss Scotland seriously so much. I'm repping my Scotland merch right now. I just, I'm just reliving it right now. So I started my day how I usually do, by finding a place to get coffee, and I ended up going to the Elephant House, which, if you didn't know, is a cafe where J.K. Rowling wrote most of the Harry Potter books. Tastes like Harry Potter. I left the cafe and just decided to walk around a bit with my coffee, and this is so stereotypical, but in the background there was a faint sound of bagpipes throughout the entire day, so just keep that in mind. So you didn't really go to Edinburgh if you don't visit the Edinburgh Castle, so I had to do that. It's like the main attraction there, and it was built on top of a volcanic rock, which you can actually see when you're there. It looks like it was built on some volcanic structure. I walked around the castle for about two hours, and it gave me a heavy Shrek vibe. Am I in a Shrek movie right now? Okay, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna hike up on this ledge, so see you there. Originally, I thought about walking to this cliff, but realized that it would take so long, so I ended up just getting an Uber, and I sat on the curb to wait for my Uber, and this dog, I'm gonna insert a clip, walked by me, and it was eating so much grass, it looked hungry, okay? Like, it was full of grass. I still, to this day, I'm so confused as to what I just saw. My Uber ended up coming and the guy was really nice and was telling me some background about Edinburgh. That goes right around the face and down to the other side as well. Oh, cool. I think that side is just closed at the moment. You can probably come from the other side, but you won't get down here. After exiting the Uber, I began my trek up to the top of the hill where I saw the best view of Edinburgh in the books. If you're ever in town, you have to go to Arthur's Seat. So I made it to the top of the hill. The sun is setting. It's only 3 p.m. Whatever, um, it's stunning up here. I just wanted to say that everything usually just works out for me. I'm not to brag, but I wanted some bit of nature. I wanted some bit of city in this trip and I got both, so. 
This is it. I'm behind. Actually, I'm in front of the castle. You can see the castle behind me. It's actually just insane. I love Scotland. I ended up spending the rest of the daylight hours in this park. It's called Holyrood Park. It's connected to Arthur's Seat. And I just ended up walking through the whole cliff range. It was so sick. <laughs> So it's like four o'clock and it's already completely dark and now I'm on the hunt for a scarf because studying abroad in Europe has kind of made me a scarf guy. I never was into scarves until I got here because everyone wears scarves and now I'm obsessed. So we're gonna go try to find a scarf and you're gonna help me out. Actually, you're not gonna help me out because you have no say in the matter at all, but you're gonna watch me. So it turns out I wasn't allowed to film in the store. Rude. But I bought two scarves, these colors. And there's also this scarf. So it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna head to the airport and yeah, Scotland Kevin signing off. Take it away, future Kevin. <laughs> Thanks so much for narrating, by the way. Love him. Don't you love him? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my solo trip to Edinburgh, Scotland. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, click the button down there, subscribe, click the little bell notification if you wanna get notified when I upload a video. It's up to you. You also might be wondering if I ate anything throughout the day, and I promise you I did. I just don't know what it is. I just don't like filming my food for whatever reason. If you've never traveled alone before and you are wanting to and you have the means to do that, I highly recommend it seriously I learned so much about myself when I'm traveling alone and just being alone it, I don't really even feel lonely I'm just enjoying like where I am and I don't have to be in anyone else's schedule and it's just so nice comment down below your favorite trip like the most spectacular place you've ever been because I feel like you go to cool places and I want to add places to my list of places to see future Kevin is signing off I will see you next time I don't think I've been this nervous with the cold drain.